in this video, we are talking about my Phalaenopsis orchis in water culture. As you can see the progression of the roots, ultimately, it will help you determine how to care for your Phalaenopsis orchis and how to get you some beautiful new roots like that. That's the easy part, to get it to be, you know, able to sustain itself, okay, and to rebloom for you. We are going to have to get into how to fertilize it. Okay, so this is a Phalaenopsis orchid that was down to one leaf. Okay, one leaf and one root. And as you can see, a year later, such a comeback, such a comeback. Mm-hmm. <laughs> for staying tuned fam pals you are so incredible i just love you so much and i appreciate all of the encouragement that you leave in my comment boxes you guys are so wonderful and such a blessing to me so i just thank you so much for being here at orchids for dummies now, as I said, in no particular order, these are some randos orchids that I don't know what the blooms will look like. This was given to me my, by my physician. It was every time it starts doing well, it, I, it falls on the floor. And so I am determined to save it no matter what. We all have one of those orchids where we refuse to let it die because where there is new growth, there is always going to be hope and so you are here now with me 2021 one day this orchid will bloom and once it happens i'm going to be talking a lot of smack okay i'll be talking to smack and i'm found out the kind i'm found out the kind baby so this is a seedling right here, and I'm gonna just show you the roots, but she's doing just fine. At first, um, I was having a hard time. She was having ooey and gooey. Um, I, girl, trust me, she's doing just fine, okay? This is the best that she has been doing, honey. And I think I've had her for a year as well. Everyone, I won't be able to give a history on, okay? And welcome back, baby. So this beautiful baby right here, Okay, she was another orchid that was given to me by my orchid society here in Alabama, and she's doing just fine, okay? She's making a comeback. She's growing slowly but surely. Like I said, once I get the fertilizer together, you know, able to fertilize them more, we're going to have better and better success. This baby right here has a lot of new root production going on. In one of the older videos, you were able to see she had a lot of algae growing on the roots, but she's doing just fine. She does have a kiki right here as well as right here. This one has not grown. This one, the leaf has grown maybe a half of an inch. That's all. Okay, no new leaves coming out right here. Stay so tuned. Welcome on back. This is the rest of the 21 Phalaenopsis orchids that I'm growing by the method of water culture. As I said, as you look at their roots, see how I am keeping them clean, okay? This type of matter right here that you're able to remove, okay? I like to get tweezers, but just removing this, this type of matter will keep down fungus nets in your home keep down white mold and black mold and will ultimately let your phalaenopsis orchid be able to be in water for a substantial amount of time. So this baby right here, I'm trying to hold on to her because she has beautiful blooms, but the leaves are just so wrinkled. I have such a hard time keeping her hydrated. Not every phalaenopsis orchid is going to respond positively. Um, in the method of water culture. That is one of them. But because I'm unable to pot her up, okay, um, she has to do a dye, okay? She has to do a dye. So getting some tweezers and removing the matter that easily comes off is what you want to do, okay? This baby right here was wrinkled real bad as well, but I found out that I just did not have the water, you know, up here long enough it would dry out way too soon because it's in this small glass all of the water would evaporate while the other orchids still have water in it but as you can see three beautiful new area roots 
two leaves coming out. She's doing just fine. She is also one of those white fragrant phalaenopsis orchids. I have so many because anytime I find an orchid that I really like, I really care for, I want to get at least two of them in case one dies, okay? Can we be real or can we be fake? What you want, lady? What you want? So this baby right here was given to me by a fail pal. I'm doing the best that I can. You know, beautiful area roots. Um, she's. I have not had her that long. So we are keeping her in prayer. This is really clean. This is what you want it to look like. Like I said, anything that um, easily comes off like that, you want to do it. The more and longer that you have your Phalaenopsis orchid in water, okay, the better or the easier it will be to keep that um, base of the Phalaenopsis clean. Okay, look at those beautiful area roots. Mm-hmm. Now, this baby right here, um, I did not want her to um, bloom, okay? So, um, she has a couple of roots coming out, okay? But this, mm, she's not going to make it. She's not going to make it. So, once this bloom um, opens up, then I'll probably just throw her in the trash. She's not in the worst of condition. It's just that I have... 20 orchids that I need to get rid of um, so my um, watering day will be a lot easier on me okay okay so I have um, 48 phalaenopsis orchids in total and that's not including all of my other orchids that's just my phalaenopsis orchids so this baby right here I really can't tell you off the top of my my head what phalaenopsis it is but she's doing just fine she has plenty of leaves oh i remember i knocked her over this is one of those orchids that i purchased from my um american orchid society here in alabama for five dollars you see this right here this is fine as long as it doesn't spread if it spreads then you want to cut it off and spray it with some diluted hydrogen peroxide Okay, mama is here to give you the care tips. Okay, that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. So this baby right here is another one that I don't want to lose because the blooms are so gorgeous. However, honey, when they get down like this, you're probably looking at a year or two before you see any type of rebloom. And that's just such a long time to be caring for something. Okay, and I mean, I'm trying to do the best that I can Lord have mercy, she might have a flower spike trying to come out. I would have to cut it. Remember that that's just a part of the reproductive system. It's actually trying to, um, you know, save itself, if you will. Um, it's trying to be propagated by, um, you know, nature, if you will, to be able to um, live on, get the message out, you know, so the species does not die. Well, Val Pals, I hope that you learned Okay, how to care for your Phalaenopsis orchid roots and water culture. I hope that you are having great success. Remember, if you got any questions, leave them in the comment box below, honey. That is what I'm here for. Each one, teach one. Like I said, like this video. Subscribe if you are a new visitor. And always remember to have a happy growing. Until next time.